Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm showing this beautiful spring set. So on the ring finger here, I'm going in with CJP Apple Shine and I'm just applying that to the tip and just blending that down towards the cuticle because I'm gonna create it in an ombre. And I also do the same on the thumb. Now on the ring finger I'm going in with a glitter that I mixed myself using all different glitters don't know what's in there just threw some glitters into a tub and I liked it so we used it so I'm just applying a really thin layer because on this nail I am going to be going in with some netting I will be encapsulating this nail using um, a clear, so I'm gonna let this nail set and move on to the next one before I encapsulate it so I don't move any of the glitter. Here on the middle finger, I'm just doing a full glitter nail, so once again going in with the glitter we used on the ring finger, and I just dip my brush into some clear acrylic, and actually it's not clear acrylic, it's actually negligee from CJP because I've run the clear. So I just dip my brush into that, pick up a bead, and then I dip my brush into the glitter and just apply the glitter thinly onto the nail and then I will come back once it's set and encapsulate it. So here on the index finger, I'm doing a color block nail. So I'm going in with Neo Nails Shell Pink and this is a really nice cover pink, I've used this in previous tutorials and I'm just applying that to the nail where I want it and then I use the tip of my brush to create the shape that I want to do the colour block in but then I will go back in with a file and just file around that to refine the shape. On these nails, I'm just going to go in with the CJP negligee again and just encapsulate them. I would usually use clear, but I have run out, but you can't actually tell much difference once it's top coated. You can still see the glitter. Moving back to the pinky, I'm just going back in with Neo Nail Shell Pink. Applying a bead of that at the cuticle and I'm just blending that up towards the free edge and then I wasn't happy with the blend so I just went back in with a little bit more and did exactly the same. Then I did the same on the thumb but it didn't work out so we changed it up so I didn't record that part. And then all I'm going to do here is I'm going in with CJP negligee and just encapsulating that whole nail. Moving on back to the ring finger I'm going in <coughs> with CJP negligee. And I need to do this in a one bead um, way, <laughs> one bead application, because I am going to go in with netting. So once that nail has gone matte, I'm just placing my netting on and I'm pushing down quite hard, but I'm also getting the client to lift her finger up because you want to make sure that it gets right in there. Then here I'm just ripping removing it really really gentle you don't want to pull parts of the acrylic off and then i'm going to go in with a really wet bead of cjp's apple shine now it looked really good but then once i filed it didn't really show through as much as i wanted it to which you will see on the final picture but you could see it in certain lights but not 
as much as I wanted it, but it still looked pretty. So I'm just gonna apply that, wait for that to set, and then I will file. So now that my first color on the index finger has set, I'm just gonna go in with my hand file and just refine that shape so that when we put the next color up to it, it will make sure that once we filed, there will be a nice crisp, sharp line there. Moving back on to the index finger, to create the next bit of colour block I'm going in with CJP Snow White and just applying that up to where I already applied the previous colour and you just want to try and make sure this is neat as possible but I don't work very neat, not with stuff like this, so it does look a mess but I promise you it will not look a mess. And you also want to make sure that you've got your apex and make sure it's thick enough because you are going to file it and I don't encapsulate so yeah just make sure it's thick enough and just use the tip of your brush just to clean that up but I will go in with my file again and refine that shape. that snow white set I went back in with my file and just refined the edge of the snow white and now I'm going in with some CJP apple shine again doing exactly the same placing it where I want it to using my brush to clean it up a little bit then I'll let that set once again go back in with my file and then I'll go in with my final color which will be a glitter section so I'm just going to let you watch the rest of it and then I'll jump back in when I need to. So I've just realised that the glitter part of the colour block didn't actually record but I just went in with some glitter that I'd used on the middle finger. So now I'm just going in with my 100 grit nail file and just filing the surface of the nail and as you can see that design starts to show through and the lines are nice and crisp. I have already filed the rest of the nails as well. Um, but I just thought I'd leave just this one in today just to show you. So I'm just gonna refine the shape of the nail and make sure that those lines are nice and sharp. So once I was happy with how that looked, I then went in with my white buffing block and just buffed that nail to remove any scratches from the nail. Then I wiped over with pure acetone to smooth it out even more. I didn't manage to get the top coat application on camera but I used my CJP top gloss and cured that in my LED lamp, no in my UV lamp for two minutes. Then we added some Swarovski crystals to the middle finger and then I went in with CJP flower bass cuticle oil when that was once the top coat had, had a chance to cool down. Please excuse the kids fighting in the background. <laughs> So thank you all for watching, I really appreciate all your subscriptions and all your likes and your lovely comments. This is the finished look, I hope you liked them and don't forget if you did give it a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed don't forget to click subscribe and I'll see you in my next video, bye!